This video is brought to you by our friends at Forerunner6G.com, your source for more information and insights into the all-new 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Today we have the opportunity to look at the brand new Toyota 4Runner Trail Hunter right next to the Tacoma Trail Hunter. These are two of Toyota's newest and coolest off-road models. And we're here at Toyota's Denver regional office because we're about to take these three Tacomas and those three Land Cruisers off-road in the mountains here in Colorado. And they gave us a nice little surprise by giving us the opportunity to shoot this prototype 4Runner next to these vehicles. And this is a pre-production model, this 4Runner. It's a prototype. They haven't done the drive event yet, so we're not gonna have the chance to drive it quite yet, but we can talk about it, the features that it has, and look at it next to the other trail hunter out there, which is the Tacoma. So these vehicles are going to have a lot of similarities. Both of them are going to be powered by 2.4 liter turbo hybrid powertrains. So 326 horsepower, 465 pound feet of torque, a lot of torque. They're going to have eight speed transmissions. And when you spec them out in this trail hunter trim, you're gonna get a lot of really nice off-road gear. So let's start with the 4Runner because this is the newest, the most exciting, I would say. Depends if you want a truck or an SUV, I suppose, but really cool bronze wheels, Toyo all-terrain tires right here. And then if we zoom in, you can see Trail Hunter branded upper control arm there and Old Man Emu branded suspension there that Andre told me is actually built by Bill Stein. So it's an interesting relationship there. Skid plates, a uh, pretty large skid plate. And then up top, you've got a snorkel. We have rock sliders. We have an ARB branded rooftop rack, which is also pretty nice to have, especially if you're into some outdoor sports, if you got some outdoor hobbies, you wanna tie some things down. That's definitely going to be nice solid rear axle on this model nice big spare tire right there so these are all great things to see on an off-road trim of this vehicle it's also worth popping the trunk and showing off this really cool air compressor that you get right back here for airing up your tires so these are all really great off-road features and then actually if we go around to the front I'll go ahead and show you a few more off-road goodies. We won't dive into interiors quite yet, but rear locker, sway bar disconnect, multi-terrain select, crawl control. There's your four-wheel drive selector. Pretty familiar looking equipment. Part-time four-wheel drive system. Now let's compare some of those highlight features to this Tacoma. So very similar. Once again, bronze wheels, all-terrain tires got basically the same looking upper control arms once again old man emu branded suspension right there pretty extensive skid plate here in the front we've also got rigid lights here on the front of the tacoma kind of like what you get on the trd pro tacoma we've also got those rigid lights here on the front of the forerunner as well moving around the side of the tacoma once again We've got this snorkel. We have a rock slider here along the side. No ARB roof rack, but instead an ARB branded sport bar here in the bed, which gives this truck such a cool profile. We've also got this ARB, ARB bumper here in the rear with bright red tow hooks. Also ARB branded, also nice to have. Also big spare tire under here. And if we pop open the bed on this Tacoma, you can see that behind this cubby, we've got air compressor as well. It even says compressor there in the bed. And the nice thing, if you are shopping, maybe not between the 4Runner and a Tacoma, but if you're shopping between the off-road trims of the Tacoma, one nice thing on this truck is that you can get this Trail Hunter with a six foot bed. All really nice stuff to have. I also like these lights on the bed rail. Pretty cool. These are both very cool and very rugged vehicles from Toyota. 
And once again, a lot of power with this iForce Max, a lot of torque, 465 pound-feet of torque. We'll pop into the inside of the Tacoma and show you very similar rear locker, sway bar disconnect, multi-terrain select, crawl control, four-wheel drive selector. So all very familiar stuff between the two. And looking at these interiors, once again, very familiar stuff. We've got these grayish seats with gold accents to add a little contrast in there. It says Toyota there on the dash, big screens, all really good stuff. Some auxiliary switches here to your left. Got big chunky knobs for your climate, heated seats, ventilated seats, all really good stuff. Heated steering wheel there. We've got trailer brake controller there to the side of the steering wheel. And the rear seat, like any mid-sized truck, is going to have pretty limited leg room, nothing too crazy. But we've got 2,400 watts of power that you can pull back here and two USB-Cs. So that is nice stuff to have. It's a good looking interior. Now let's compare that to this 4Runner. Like I said, very familiar. You're going to have on this one, same color seats, gold accent color, just like that. Toyota there on the dash, big screens, trailer brake controller, big chunky buttons for your climate. So this is all very familiar stuff. So really, a lot of your decisions are gonna come down to if you want a truck or an SUV. Auxiliary switches there. Also, both of these have the speaker that you can pop out from the dash, which is all really cool stuff. The back seat, of course, on this is going to be a little bit roomier. Also got those vents back here for the rear seat passengers, which is all really nice stuff. So yeah, unsurprisingly, both of these Trail Hunter models are going to have a lot of the same offerings and a lot of this is going to come down to, yeah, no surprise, do you want a pickup truck or do you want an SUV? If you need to have rear seat passengers with you, I would definitely lean toward that 4Runner. It's also going to be a slightly more compact vehicle, a little easier to park, but I love the fact that you can get a six foot bed here on this Trail Hunter. These are also really good looking trucks. Still, it's not like they're too big to fit down any off-road trail. So pros and cons of each. If maybe you need a truck bed to do oh, some light landscaping around your house, or you just like being in a pickup truck, then this is going to be a good option. On a personal, personal note, I would go Trail Hunter over TRD Pro Tacoma, not the least of which because of this rear seat space with these isodynamic seats on this truck really rob a lot of the comfort from the back seat area on the TRD Pro. So I think these Trail Hunters are a really cool trim, really cool option, give you a lot of awesome features, and they're going to be very capable, very rugged. But let me know in the comments what you think. Would you go 4Runner or would you go Tacoma? And that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next.